Is your child a failure? Have they wasted years of their life acquiring an arts degree? Do you make it rain on a regular basis? Only to spend it on your child's expensive taste in bullshit coffee? Is your child just an asshole? These are questions we ask every day. Here at Dupa Genetics, we have the solution. Prodigy Child, the fully customizable child of your dreams. The process is very simple. We gather your broken dreams, we combine it with our cutting edge genetic sequencing technology, and finally, our secret sauce. And then, your Prodigy Child is born. Don't leave your child's success to chance. They can be a Prodigy Child in anything, such as scientist, bodybuilder, wizard, and cat. You know what to do. Do you really want to risk the embarrassment? Buy a prodigy child today. You won't regret it. Time to put on some beatsies. Ugh, I am so bored. I should probably make progress on my EP and make some beats on the computer. And not procrastinate, which would inevitably lead me to reevaluating my life decisions and weeping silently. <gasps> That's great. I've completely forgotten how to exist. <laughs> yes, I feel like this is something I shouldn't forget. Thank God you exist. I could never afford a real doctor. Would you like a regular tutorial or a large action dog tutorial? Definitely dog tutorial. Hello, uh, I'm your Dr. Chuba. I will be your guide. Right, uh, now let's do... Interact. Left click to underwrite. Interact. That's a random color to underwrite. That's a very fancy trick I spilt on. And I don't know, some advice from yourself. Then I was like, I'm done. That's the top of the screen to access slide out. Thank you. Hmm, it doesn't seem to be working. Just like the fashion combo of socks, sandals, and fanny packs. Unless you're a 40 year old man whose jokes only consist of puns. I should talk to John. He will probably know how to fix it. Babe, I love you, but I'm a T-Rex. It's a beautiful concept album about... The record is missing from its slip. Damn it, you hustling dog. How can I say mad at you? You're so cute and fluffy. This could get John in the mood. This could get John in the mood. The record is missing from... Damn it, you hustling... The record is... Damn... This could be useful. If only people could adapt like this adapter. Robot human marriage wouldn't be such a big issue. Oh jeez, I've forgotten how to use my pockets again. You can access the entry in Finland. Press the use order 
ったらそうん、なっうん、こいつけらそう、かわいい、さらに、さらに、さらに、さらに、うさら That's John. He's an artificial intelligence unit. He used to be one of those matchmaking robots, but he kept flirting with the contestants. TV was just not ready for robot human relations at the time. Doesn't look like I need to. I need some sort of adapter first. It worked. Oh, Mike, what do you unplug me for? You know why. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, do your HAL 9000 impression. Open the pod bay doors, HAL. Dave, you're a drongo. You know I can't let you do that. That's just stupid. I really like what you did to your face. What's different? Well, originally, it was a picture of a big phallic object with a smiley face on it. I'll have you to thank for that. Do you ever miss the days when you were just a matchmaking robot? Oh, a little, mate. Although the show was pretty terrible, post-apocalyptic Australia wasn't very pretty. Why isn't the computer booting? I want to make some fat-ass beatsies. Mate, with some of the filth I see in your internet history, I'm not surprised. Makes me contemplate if I want to be a part of this world. Then I'll think about all the shillers who would be gutted, and then I change my mind. Wouldn't it be unfortunate if I just tripped and unplugged you again? Don't worry, mate. I'm not judging you. It's a little bit messed up, but, uh... It's perfectly normal. For sick blokes such as yourself, anyway. Don't make me donate you to the SSOPC guild. Please. Anything. But not the senile seniors operating personal computers guild. I had bigger dreams than being used to play solitaire and send money to Nigerian princes. Real talk, why isn't it working? Mate, the operating system is bugged. Some uh, bloody hacker bloke mess with your system files. You're gonna need a warp it and reinstall it using the recovery floppy disk. Where can I find the recovery floppy disk? Alright, I'll search with my little Google here and check it out. That's weird. It only tells me where to find sexy singles in my area and one little weird secret to get ripped. I always wondered what I'd look like with a six pack. Just tell me where to get it. Alright mate, I'll tell ya. But first I need your help. I've got at least 10 chat rooms and two internet dating sites to frequent tonight and I need you to get me in the zone. How am I supposed to do that? I'm a little bit hurt you don't remember anymore. Ever since I had to roll back to version 2.1, you can't even look in my eyes, Jorn. We've already discussed this. You don't even have eyes. Seriously, what do you want? Use your imagination, mate. I need to maximize my sex appeal potential. One ton of copper wiring doesn't exactly swoon potential partners, except for sweaty salvage men. And I tell you what, mate, I don't want any news from sweaty salvage men tonight unless they look like sexy, sweaty ladies. Figure something out. Gross. Ugh. Such an irritating minor inconvenience. I just want to finish my new EP. By the way, if you don't fix the computer soon, the power plant will melt down and everyone will be dead. Or become seriously maimed, living their life in constant agony. Cheers, mate. There must be something in this room I can give him. It's a depoganizer, compulsory to all citizens of Krush. Depoganizer, if you tell anyone who my high school crush was, I'll forget to take you out of my pocket next laundry run.
I prefer to live full of personal secrets out in the security of open spaces. I had a nightmare that I was in a terribly written adventure game, but the designer was ridiculously good looking. Weird. Thank you for dying for our musical scenes, DJ Jesus. so many circuits and not. Anyway, you can find the floppy disk from a fellow named Space Cadet. That local drug addict guy. Ask Doug outside for some directory duties if you can't remember. Directions? That's what I said. Well, they have to go save the world, I guess. By the tone of your voice, you clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation. I see you're ready to chat the honey don't night on your PC. Hey. Do you ever think about what it would be like if we communicated by touching our butts together? Yeah, nah. I figured you wouldn't understand, so I prepared this paper mache earth for your benefit earlier. Wow, you've really improved on your paper mache craft skills. Great work, John. Cheers, mate. I really appreciate your support of my hobby over the years. Anyway, you say, Cobza? All the world's radioactive waste is stored under the crush. There is enough radioactive waste under this station for complete annihilation. As you probably know, crush is world number one in the Brahmin economy. Now, pay attention to that red dot. That's us. That sure is neat, mister. That's the basic gist of the CISO if you don't get that floppy. Except for boys, you can fall out, mutations, people died in agony, pine, suffering, and lots of prolonged screaming. I still make humans have like uh, two years to extension if this goes down. Oh, right. I should probably stop that. Piper Mache seems to always reach out to you, Paradon. You should start selling these online. They're really great. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. One day. But yeah, go see Doug outside for some directory dues to Space Cadet's place. Not. I can't pick up doors. Hello, entrance. You would like me to walk through you, wouldn't you? You make me sick. I used to let the hobo crash in there. I didn't check on him for a while. I soon found out he likes smearing things on walls. I don't go in there anymore. Warning. Imminent complete meltdown is imminent. Yes, I want, I want you to bring me Paradigm. After all this time, you want to bring it back? Yes, we need, we need... <coughs> Are you all return? <coughs> I'm just going to, um... <coughs> I'm just going to let my face out. Sometimes I hate you, father. Your insatiable urge for candy turned me into this monstrosity. But don't worry. Your legacy will live on. I 
don't like vegetables. I already use him for rent money. Hey, Prosofinos. What's up, Brolicious? Do you mind dropping some fat bitsies? Okay. Much about the space cadet? Who? Hmm? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. Goldolf Wakeney, 47 years old, uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him really, except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. Also, also blowjobs. Lots of blowjobs. Ah, yes. Excuse me while I drown myself in a pool of bleach. Did you consider the blowjobs? If I wasn't a drogonist, I would probably consider it. It gets awfully lonely out here. Uh, what kind of drug addict? Uh, I think his drug of choice is space dust, I think. What the hell is that? Some say it's mines from the moon, but really it's just remarketed crack. I need to know where I can find him. Well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the bits. How do you stay alive? Photosynthesis, bro. How does it feel to be a vegetable for the rest of your life? I'm actually disgusted you'd make that joke. But if you're serious, it feels pretty nutritious. How's the hustle going? The rent's due soon, and I've always wanted to try sentient eggplant. Come on, man. Give us a break. There are literally only five people living here. All of them crazy. Except for you, of course. Laters. Peace, bro. Nope. Hmm. Maybe I should use it. I wonder how long it would take before I get a cease and desist. God damn it, Lucas. Stop spraying your intellectual property on my property. Hello, Lucas Arts Intellectual Property. Please don't sue me. Hello, Mailbox. Hello, Reminder of Online Shopping Regret. Hey, look! I have new mail. I... Uh, what? Another mailbox? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. Hey! There is something else in the second mailbox. Oh... A third mailbox? I've had enough of your games, Babushkin mailbox. If there is another mailbox in here, I'm going to uninstall the game. Hey, there is a postcard in here with a bottle of vodka. Pashevsky's vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs and a 50% chance of unemployment. Plus, Postcard map says to press the letter M or use the slide up menu to use the map. Weird. I need to find where this. They're toy dials. The measurements on them are... Moopies. I don't think I can use this for much. But on the bright side, our Moopies reading is off the scale. Without this duct tape, the whole building would more than likely explode. I'll leave it there just in case. I 
can't. The buttons are just stickers on the box. Sometimes I'm amazed that I haven't died already in this power station. Sorry, player. I can't let you do that. Something many people don't know about the Messiah. He had some sick hand styles. I have this uh, Krush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. You can find him in the bottom right in uh, Krush Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. Ah, the old crash plane in the forest trope. Wait, there's a sticker here. It says, Nicky Neck's replica crashed aeroplane. Their motto reads, if you have a lot of money, you might as well spend it. The sign says, please be aware of occasional satanic rituals in the forest. And more importantly, always remember to recycle. Open bracket. Satanic rituals aren't actually satanic. They are just info sessions run by a guy named Satan. Close bracket. Then how would people know how to recycle without summoning Beezlebub? What's the point? I'm terrified of heights. I don't think it would ever work out. I don't need any headbanging drugs right now. Besides, I require long hair and a black metal band t-shirt to use it to its full potential. Yes, very spooky. I can't carry around nostalgia. Hello? I'm pretty good, thanks, and you? Wow, that is nice to know. Tell the wife you're welcome at mine anytime. What a wonderful comatose man. I need to divert his attention somehow. No way. I'm afraid to touch furniture so expensive. Hey, I used to own this. I actually had the high score, causing me to be both a terrible and broke electronic musician. If only the whole world had access to you, game. Prejudice against interplanetary love wouldn't exist. I'm not really ready for mild says. Hello, spherical spaceship. <laughs> It looks like some sort of uh, spherical spaceship. Sorry. It's locked. Besides, I don't need to go inside to see more priceless box furniture. I really don't want to impede on his space dust quests. Out of kindness and out of fear he will eat my face if he goes into withdrawal. You would be the worst guy at AA meetings. Let's help out the drug addict with more drugs. I can't just pour liquor out for my dead homies. Wasting vodka and crush is punishable by death. Oh my, it 
it's a glitching tree. In Krush, it's considered good luck. Nothing like contemplating if your life is a computer simulation. I'm not sure that's how advertising works. of my love to you. I hope you can look past my huge mountains of debt. I'm very intimate with Krusha's safety standards. And to be honest, I would like to stand at least two meters from any cables at all times. Why did it take so long for you to talk to me? I really wish you were more of a wise cracking sidekick. Comic relief from my crippling self-esteem issues. I'm more of a original mother type, but instead of having a lot really, I'm a lot of puff flesh. So free to rub my fishy growth for good luck. Hey Brosofino, real talk. Mind using your vague intuition to help us out? Let me dazzle you with my slightly better than ever. Space Cadet in the park, maybe a sack, so for three working sessions, put a full box for your hand, play in his muscles, maybe put him a drink, or try to figure out what he is so trying to fix to. I don't know where, I don't draw a magic card. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. It's not even plugged in. And wow, there is at least four rats living inside, with what seems to be a little couch and studio lighting. Also a lap track? Fancy. Space Cadet also seems to be transfixed by it. If I post this online, I could probably get internet points for it. Sorry, Red family. Your conveniently timed jokes will have to wait. Hopefully this gets his attention. Hey! That infomercial was just about to tell me how to grow an extra arm! Guaranteed! You truly are a monster. What's the hottest conspiracies this week, Space Cadet? Planet Earth's president apparently wanted to grow up to be a talking car. Slow week, huh? Not at all. He just got surgery to replace his arms with wheels. He died. Oh, right. Apparently, they are now recycling his body into real car tires. It's almost poetic. Would you happen to have the recovery disk for Derp OS uh, 3.1? Would you happen to have space dust? No. Then I have no idea what you're talking about. If I get this space dust, will you give it to me? <laughs> I'd also suck. The recovery disk will do fine. I'm flattered regardless. Can you at least uh, prove you have it? Is this it? Well, that's a classic. Still relevant after 50 years. No, it is not. Uh, what about this one? Oh, Jesus. That is creepy. I'm not sure I want to ask how you got that. Maybe this one? Yes. Give it to me. Not until I get some of that sweet, sweet, I can't believe it's not sugar. Don't you mean space dust? Yeah, whatever. Same thing. Are there any side effects? Uh, blurred vision. You also turn into a metaphorical elephant. And sudden combustion. That's a pretty big one. 
hasn't happened so far, obviously. Frankly, I'm not sure how I'm alive most of the time. Uh, where can I find space dust? You can cook it yourself. It's a meticulous process of gathering rock samples from the moon. Be wary of the man on the moon, though. For reasons I don't want to get into right now. And then I forget the rest. Alternatively, you can get it from your local family drug dealer for the lowest prices. Guarantee. Mainly because he murders all the competition. A true businessman. Can you show me where the drug dealer is at least? Yeah, alright. Do you have a map on you? Will this postcard do? I think so. Go to this place here. The little house on the mountain in the middle. Bring me that powdery heaven. I've already got the suppository prepared. Uh, uh. Then you can go on a spiritual journey with me to uncover the dark secrets of Krush. New original conspiracies? Yeah, want to hear about it? Long live the lizard people. Listen here, P. Diddy Diggum. Paradigmy guy. Ever wonder why there's only like five or six of us living here? Vague memories of childhood? Unexplained scars? Large hemorrhoids that are impossible to get rid of? Obvious listening devices? Now, I won't know for sure till my next drug-induced coma, but I'm pretty sure that... We're nothing but a figment of the imagination of a terrible Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Valid. However, my theory was that we were teenage mutant cutie boys who accidentally fell in the radioactive ooze, thus giving us amnesia and trendy period relevant catchphrases. Now they are keeping an eye on us so we don't fight crime. Yours works too. Let's, uh,. Change the subject. Kawabungu! I might need to leave now. This stench is too great. See you later! <coughs> this is cutting edge technology. High tech keypad security drawn on with crayon. Compelling burglars to go back to art school. Pretty effective. <laughs>